Welcome everybody, in this video I have a cool project to show you and this project is very original because this is not a current uh, a current and traditional neural network where we have an input layer, an output layer and some hidden layers. In this neural network we don't have layers, we, li we have like an structure that is called also a graph. So uh, a graph in, in in a graph we can add and remove different nodes that are these circles that are not hidden layers and also we can create connections. So this is very cool because we don't need to have a fixed topology of a neural network. We can edit it as by yourself or with genetic algorithms, for example, you can create a topology that is fixed to the problem we want to solve. So, as you are seeing, uh, the back propagation and the training is the same as in a, a traditional neural network because uh, we can decrease the error. And now I will show you some examples with this great tool. This editor, that is a, an updated version of the, of the before editor and is very optimized it has recurrent parts okay and these recurrent parts of the code are very important because we can uh, create and update the feed forward and the back propagations when we add uh, new nodes when the training is being doing so uh, now I will explain you that in this window we can create some different neurons, okay? In this case they are called nodes and for example we can connect the inputs that this is this they are fixed so we can't change the inputs and the outputs but we can connect for example the first input to this neuron. So automatically uh, when we add this uh, wave we will update the value of the neuron with the feed forward and we can do this through all the different things so as you are seeing because i am adding new new connections and these connections are being automatically randomly selected and when we connect something that is connected to the output for example now i will create a connection the error will increase and we will need to decrease it so this is very cool because we can create different things very fast and see what is happening so this uh, and now i think that you are questioning uh, so what is the use of this uh, this is very useful because we can create uh, if you don't know about the neat algorithm also called the called the neuroevolution algorithm is very is great because we can optimize the genetic algorithms by also uh, crossovering and mutating the topology of the neural network, not also uh, not only the the connection values of the neural network. So now I will show you in the code. Okay, this is the error that has been decreasing. So we can add the nodes and the connections in the code or also in the editor. So here we initialize the network and. I don't say it, but all of this is completely done in Java. And here we can train it. In this case, I train it to get the output 0 0.3, as you have seen. But, uh, for example, we can add two outputs, okay? We can also specify the initializer and the activation function, okay? In this case, I choose your logistic and random normal. So. Uh, here are the learning rate of the bias and the connections, the epochs we want to do. And uh, here we have the inputs we want to train in this case, okay? So now, uh, because I have added a new output, I will need to put the desired output we want. So when we do the the, the network, we, we see that this neuron has been adjusted but this neuron because it don't have any connections to it it hasn't been adjusted so we can add this to adjust this value of the network as you are seeing it is increasing okay and this is almost in the value here we have put a 0 0.2 so it will try to get the 0 0.2 and as you are seeing now it is slowing because this is like the gradient descent okay the gradient descent algorithm 
So now we can create different uh, more neurons to improve the accuracy and the intelligence of the network. So we can put, for example, this, and it will uh, do fastly the optimization and the training. Okay, as you are seeing, it has get 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 that are the desired outputs, as you are seeing here that we have said to it. So with this project, uh, we can also create the rest of the projects of the DG recognition, image recognition, and everything. But as this uh, this structure is is a graph and we can edit it, we can create customizable neural networks. So the final thing I want to say you is that sometimes, okay, we can create uh, connections that are from the input to the output. Okay, for example, imagine we have this, and we have here, this this is an in, an in node, and this is an output node, but we can also create the other direction um, connection. So if we have these connections, we will have a problem with the backpropagation and feed forward because it won't last. So uh, this is not fixed yet, but it, this is like a recurrent neural network, and I will try to uh, analyze the connections, and if they are both sides, I will create like a a layer of recurrent networks, and uh, if we do also cycles, okay, because graphs can have repeated uh, connections. So for example, I can create this. Okay, and if I create this, it will give me an error because it this is infinite and it won't last because when we get the inputs and calculate the outputs, we will do this t cycle all the time, and this is forbidden. So I will need uh, to remove some some extractors that are not valid for neural networks, and also add new layers for. Uh, a new new feed forward back propagation to get better values and optimizers. So finally, I will show you that this project is very good because we can uh, create very huge neural networks and the the performance of of the project doesn't decrease. As you are seeing here we have a bunch of of neurons, okay, and this is very optimized. Also uh, we can resize the, the image and it will try to put it uh, like like in a better way uh, depending on the size of the window. So if you have like this project I will try to 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 give you this uh, this this editor for all the people that want to learn neural networks to be able to do it. See you in the next video and hope you like this.